One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, hi. Uh, got something unusual for you today. I am going to combine two crafts, woodworking, with an old craft called a decoupage, where you take a picture and you attach it to, in this case, a piece of wood. So it's the numbers from 1 to 12 to be the number on the front. This is a 12, so there's 12. I think those are shuttlecocks from badminton. And then on the back, it has the, the name written out. So it's a nice little item for a young child to teach them how to count. I'll show you how to make that step by step. The plans for this come from toymakingplans.com, and you will need a color printer for this project. Just go to their website, pay for the plans, download the files, print them, and you'll be ready to get started. What you'll need for this part of the project is a specialized glue to hold the pictures to the wood. The brand I found in my local Walmart is called Mod Podge. If you can't find it locally, I checked, and it is available at Amazon.com. Decoupage was a big craze back in the 1970s, and I worked in a craft store that sold this and even taught classes on how to use it. When he was trying to be funny, my boss called the process decoupage. This stuff is a glue formulated just for this process. I haven't used it for a while, and after twisting the cap off the bottle, I decided to check the directions before proceeding. They turned out to be in about two-point types, so I quickly gave up on that idea. Besides, real men don't need directions, right? I later looked up the information online and found out I was supposed to put a thin layer on the wood first, then another on the back of the picture before applying it to the wood. This seemed to work out okay the way I did it, but I'm passing the word along so you can do the process correctly. The instructions recommended a foam brush, which I did have on hand. In fact, it was from the last time I made this set. If you rinse the brush thoroughly after use, you'll be able to use it again. You can glue these close together on the wood since there's a waste area around the edge of each shape. The instructions that came with the pattern from ToymakingBlends.com said to first cut a 3x3 three three block for each number, then glue the pattern to the block. After the Mod Podge dries, you cut the patterns to final shape. That seemed like an unnecessary step to me, so I skipped it and just glued all the pictures to one large board. I'm making two sets of these at a time. I sell online and in a retail store, so I almost always build things in batches as it's more efficient. I mentioned not following the instructions on these because I couldn't read them, but they turned out okay. What I didn't mention before is that it's important that the pictures are adhered flat to the surface without any air bubbles. These are all flat. As I go to cut these, you'll notice that the white area is bordering the color pictures. You need to cut these shapes right at the border, getting off the white. I'm using three-quarter poplar for these, so I'm going to switch to a number nine Pegasus modified geometry blade. There was a number seven in the saw from a previous project. My general rule is to use a number nine blade for three-quarter material, but I might have left the number seven in place if these were complex shapes. They aren't, so the number nine blade will be faster. In fact, these shapes are simple enough any beginner should be able to do this project. You can see that it only takes a minute or two to cut each shape. After I cut the entire set th uh, through number 12, I'll move on to the second step, which is to decoupage the printed numbers on the back. You can't do that until after the shapes are cut because you wouldn't know where to place them. I opened up the Mod Podge again to put the numbers on the back. This time I'll follow the instructions properly and put a thin coat of the glue on the wooden piece, then a coat on the back of the number, then put the number in place. Once done, you can put several coats of the Mod Podge on top of the pictures and numbers to completely seal them. It only takes 15 to 20 minutes to dry in between coats. It's not an all-purpose sealer, so I'll apply that as the last step. Here's the completed project. As I already mentioned, this is easy enough for a beginner, and it will also give you the opportunity to learn how to take a bosch if you're not already familiar with that craft. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video, and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. That way you won't miss any future videos. If you're interested in a very short history of decoupage, stay here until the end. Decoupage is an artistic technique of decorating objects with cut-out pictures. It is thought to have originated in East Siberia, where nomadic tribes used cut-out felts to decorate tombs. 
The practice spread to China, where paper was used to decorate lanterns, windows, boxes, and other objects. In 17th century France, it was the poor man's alternative to painted furniture. The word decoupage comes from the French word for to cut. Decoupage was popular during the Victorian era in England, as that time was characterized by ornate decorations. Decoupage provided an inexpensive and accessible way to embellish household items. The craft was also popular here in the United States in the 1970s. Typically, an object is covered with cutouts from magazines or paper prints made especially for the purpose. The print is then covered with several layers of finish to protect the picture.